In this section, we're going to see how we can list the files within our resting snapshots. So I've got my backup. I'm going to list snapshots. And it's nice that we can see the paths or what we backed up in these snapshots, but it'd be better if we can see the files within each of these snapshots. We do this with the ls command or list. For example, if we wanted to see the files within this snapshot, I'll go ahead and copy the ID and I'll do media ls and copy the snapshot ID. And it gives us the list of all the folders from the, at the root all the way down to every file and folder within that snapshot. If you wanted to see what was in a specific folder, for example, if I just wanted to see what was in, let's say, user guides, I'll copy this path and I'll do ls on that snapshot and then copy the path. And because it has a space in it, we need to put it in quotes. And it simply lists the contents of the user guides folder. The latest snapshot ID can be used with LS. If I do snapshots and do latest, we'll do LS latest. It will return the files inside this snapshot, which is our latest snapshot. Likewise, we can apply the filter host tag or path as demonstrated in the last section. So if I wanted to see the files in this snapshot, the latest snapshot for my desktop, I could do ls latest on the host and it will list all the files and folders for the latest snapshot on my desktop. Likewise, if I wanted to see the files in my latest snapshot on my Asus laptop, I could do Choose laptop and again, it'll list all the files in that latest snapshot. In addition to listing files, normally you can do a long listing with minus L or long option. And this will provide you with the permission status of the file or folder, as well as the size and bytes and the date and time for the file. If you want a more human readable size format instead of these bytes, you can include the human readable option. And this will list the size in kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and so on. These paths represented in LS are the paths that you're going to need to use when you want to restore a file or folder, or when you want to list into a directory or folder, like in this case where I just wanted to see what was in my music folder, we had to specify this path, which is not to be confused with the path listed here under the snapshots. The path under the snapshots command simply tells you what you backed up into the repository. If I wanted to see what was inside a snapshot that had the path see users straight documents, I could do ls on my latest snapshot and filter by the path documents which should return everything inside of this snapshot since it's the latest snapshot to have C users for documents. And it gives us all the files and folders from that snapshot. It can be a little confusing, but it is what it is. In the next section, I'm going to show you how to search for files and folders within a repository in a little bit more detail.